This is VexVR cross every number level one and two video. If we look what it's asking on this, in level one it's asking us to put down a pen and cross out all the numbers. Uh, you could do a quite an easy manual program uh, for level one coming down here, making a left hand turn, uh, moving forward and so on and writing this out. Uh, level two asks you to cross out the numbers in order. So level one, you could have done anyway. Level two uh, is asking you to do it in order. So because level one and two are so similar, I'm just gonna show you the level two program. So if we're looking at this, uh, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set up our own variable. So we're gonna make a variable, uh, You can name it counting count. And what you're going to do is we're going to keep track of how many times we've run this. So I'm going to set up my counter uh, set to zero or my count to zero. I know that there are 10 lines to this. So I know that in my control structure, I'm going to repeat this program 10 times. So every time I repeat this, I want my variable to increase by one. So I'm gonna change that count by one. So this will tell me when I'm on line two, three, four, five, six, seven, based on the times it goes through. So I'm gonna move that pen. So I'm gonna set my pen to down. So I'm creating my lines as I draw. Uh, actually, before I do that, I did forget a step. Before I want to turn 90, uh, turn my uh, my robot 90 degrees. Then I'm going to set my pen down. Uh, we're going to drive forward. Then the length of this board, which is 100 and 1,800 millimeters, and then when I get to that point, because I don't need my pen down, I'm going to move my pen back up. So that will have completed this one complete time. Now, because I'm keeping track of that counter, if my counter is less than 10, I'm gonna to come to my variables here, and I think I'm using count on this, yeah, if my count is less than 10. Then I'm going to take my robot, I'm going to drive it in reverse that 1800 millimeters, meaning I want to reset myself to the base of the row. So then I'm going to turn left 90 degrees and I'm going to drive forward 200 millimeters. So what I want my program to do is turn right, draw a pen mark, get to this point, come back. Uh, then if it's not, if it's under 10, then I'm going to turn it again and I'm going to move forward to do the next row, come back. If it's less than 10 on my count, on my variable, move up a row and so on. So you can see this is um, a very manual way of not using my sensors to create uh, a program that crosses out all of the lines. This level two and one are so similar into writing the program. Uh, the difference in level one is I probably, I could have wrote a manual linear program to snake back and forth through this uh, and I wouldn't have to pick up my pen. Uh, but by using some control blocks on this, I'm able to automate this in a, uh, some steps and to have it automatically count for me to have this second portion of the program occur. So as we take a look then on level three programming, uh, it asks you to alternate colors uh, between the rows, so uh, or between the numbers. So red getting uh, odd numbers, even getting blue numbers. Again, to something to do like that, we're definitely going to want to look at doing uh, a repeatable program similar to in level two.